Le 11 septembre 2001, deux Boeing 767 frappent à pleine vitesse les deux tours. Sur la tour sud, la deuxième à être visée, l'impact à 900 km h dévaste 8 étages. 33 colonnes extérieures, 10 du noyau central sont sectionnées. Les autres éléments porteurs se retrouvent en surcharge, mais la tour résiste. Ce qui change tout, ce sont les incendies. Déclenchés par le kérosène des avions, ils sont attisés par l'air qui s'engouffre par les trous béants. Les isolations thermiques ont été soufflées par les avions. Le feu se répand dans les étages supérieurs. La chaleur devient si intense, près de 1000 degrés par endroit, qu'elle affaiblit et déforme les poutres d'acier qui perdent leur rigidité. La structure de la tour n'a plus de cohésion. À 9h59, 56 minutes après l'impact, les colonnes de la façade est finissent par rompre. En 10 secondes, la partie supérieure de la tour s'effondre sur la partie inférieure. Dans l'autre tour, l'avion allait moins vite et a frappé un étage plus élevé. Elle résiste plus longtemps. New York City, 2001. No tall building had ever collapsed primarily due to fire. But that's exactly what investigators believe happened to the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on September 11th. According to a three-year comprehensive building and fire safety investigation just completed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires. We really have a new kind of progressive collapse that we have discovered here, which is a fire-induced progressive collapse. And in fact, we have shown for the first time that fire can induce a progressive collapse. Computer simulation of a structure collapse ever made. Falling debris from Tower 1 started fires on 10 floors in Building 7. So you look at the uh, floors failing here, and eventually this column 79 is going to buckle. It fails, and then the entire vertical progression takes place. The buckled column caused additional collapsed floors and falling debris that removed support from adjacent interior columns. A chain reaction then caused other interior columns to fail in quick succession. The outside shell of the building fell. The NIST team found no evidence that explosives were involved in the collapse. And our analysis show that even the smallest explosive charge that was capable of bringing down the critical column in the building, had it occurred, uh, we would have seen sound levels of 120 to 130 decibels about a half a mile away. That would have been an incredibly loud sound, and that sound was not picked up by any of the videos or witnesses that we have talked to. Mark the fifth anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. The information that the Central Intelligence Agency has obtained by questioning men like Khalek Sheikh Mohammed has provided valuable information and has helped disrupt terrorist plots, including strikes within the United States. For example, Khalek Sheikh Mohammed described the design of planned attacks on buildings inside the U.S. and how operatives were directed to carry them out. That is valuable information for those of us who have the responsibility to protect the American people. He told us the operatives have been instructed to ensure that the explosives went off at a, high po a point that was high enough to prevent people trapped above from escaping. He told us the operatives have been instructed to ensure that the explosives went off at a, high po a point that was high enough to prevent people trapped above from escaping. The explosives